Listen, I am very conscious that calling people out for lazy slop on math YouTube, it just wasn't a thing before the Honest Taurus existed. And I know the community has mixed feelings about mixing confrontation in with math, but with the exception of my response to city tutoring, I do this because of just how damaging misinformation is to aspiring mathematicians. And this is a very big price to pay to keep those weekly views coming in. With City Tutoring, we wanted a debate, but after seeing his arguments, we, we were just way too far apart, to the point where I felt that debating his points seriously would be to start challenging his personal beliefs, getting a bit too far away from math. So that's why, instead, I tried to turn it into a fun challenge. But no animosity to City Tutoring. I really like his stuff. But now, however, the subject of this video. This channel has been on my radar for a while now, for a lot of reasons. The first thing that struck me about the videos I watched is a bit of soulless script reading syndrome. And that's fine, loads of people use scripts. I mean, I write down what I want to say to stop my brain firing off all over the place. But my concern with this channel has long been, where are these scripts coming from? You can often feel this kind of detachment from the words that they're saying. There aren't these natural ebbs and flows you'd expect from someone sharing their understanding on a piece of content. Okay, but that's a bit wishy-washy speculative nonsense. Maybe you're thinking, Honest Taurus, the fuck are you waffling about? Well, go and see for yourself, there is a really impressive wide collection of topics in math that have been discussed on the channel. But go and look at the comments. You'll often see a mixture of confusion from those trying to understand the concept, together with criticism and correction from those that do understand the topic. You see, this channel has been in the Honest Taurus crosshairs for a while now, finger hovering over the trigger. But what I said so far is ultimately speculative, without a silver bullet like the morning, morning situation. <laughs> Remember that? And I guess from my side, there was this hope that as their audience grew, they would take more time to actually understand and verify their output to their audience. So I've left it alone. That is until 24 hours ago, when the problem with most advanced math books came up on my screen. Naturally, of course, I was excited by this, expecting it to somewhat align with my message about how some of the most famous math books that are brutal and not good for learning from, persist in time due to a vicious cycle of notoriety and influence, my mission being to decentralise as much as possible information and reviews about books. Instead, however, what I watched was someone who, in my opinion, it's clear, has not read hardly any of Hatcher, using the book's fame throughout the video, speaking with extreme authority, saying things like, as a book to learn from for the first time, as a beginner in the subject, I mean, it's just a disaster and then pushing their channel and website as the better alternative. So I've read about 200 pages of this book, and let me make it clear that I'm not attacking a difference of opinion. If their video had been a genuine personal reflection on their experience with the book, then I'm all for that. But instead, there are no personal accounts, which is a telltale sign, by the way, and just cherry-picked comments from other people on Reddit. God knows where the script for this video came from. But let me actually show you the book and defend it from the attack it received in this video, which has no basis whatsoever. Just because someone is a brilliant mathematician doesn't mean that they know how to teach. Let's take as an example the book Algebraic Topology by Alan Hatcher. And it's available for free, which is extremely generous, but it's a book to learn from the very first time as a beginner in the subject. I mean, it's just a disaster. It is abstract from the get-go. And because of that, it's extremely hard to follow. Definitions flow into lemmas, which flow into theorems and proofs. And everything is so tightly packed that someone who is just starting to learn about algebraic topology would take hours just to kind of get some of the ideas. The concepts are introduced formally, but the why, the motivation, is just ignored. Check out this Reddit thread. Great math books need to start with intuition, context, and simple examples. And from there, build up to formalism and proofs. Hatcher is an extreme example, of course, but it does illustrate how many math books invert the order. And that's why so many students struggle. <sighs> Man, what LLM are you using to write this script? <laughs> I mean... Uh, anyways, for legal reasons, I should say that that collection of clips you just saw there was cut up, but if you go and watch the video, you'll agree it wasn't that unfair in the slightest. So this is really not true, and the contrary is actually what I think is the great strength of this book. For example, chapter one, the fundamental group. Before even defining a path in a space. You get three, four pages of motivation for what it means for two loops to be fundamentally different in a space, up to wiggling around and continuously moving things. So there's four pages of motivation before actual definitions. But maybe that's just the start of the book, so you'd expect that. Well, I mean, just throughout, right? The Van Kampen theorem, 
You have an explanation of what you're trying to achieve with this theorem, and then you have its statement. But before diving into the proof, which is dense, example, example, okay? And then there's the proofs. You're getting motivation for why this is an important result and useful. Or moving on, how about covering spaces? There's motivation, talking about how these allow to transfer algebraic information from the fundamental group of a space to working geometrically with covering spaces. And then simple example, simple example. Interesting example, motivation. There's four and a half pages of motivation and examples before you start with the theory of lifting properties. This is so much better and nicer than my lecture course at university. Indeed, if you've watched my video where I talk about the books that I've read, I give an honest account of my struggles with my lecture notes for homology and how reading these first few pages of motivation just made everything click like that. Oh, look, it's still going. <laughs> There's discussion throughout the book and the criticism of this book in the video has just completely missed the mark. I mean, saying that there are no examples that are beginner friendly is just not true. And also, what does that mean? Beginner in the context of you're a beginner in a position to be able to learn algebraic topology, right? If you try and make examples that are beginner in the context of a beginner in math, then at best, they will just be trivial examples that don't show you anything about the theory you're going to talk about. But look, m maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the copy of Hatcher that you read had some printing issues and failed to print a lot of the motivation. Or maybe you're trying to make the content more attention grabbing to make your point to the extreme. But seeing as you've read it, I've read it, then let's hop on a call live and talk about it. You can talk about why you have these opinions of the book, which are really different to mine. But really, I think the main issue is misinformation. I think it stems from having a goal of uploading once a week, as opposed to the goal being uploading quality content, because eventually you said all the advice you want to give. You've talked about all the math you know, and that doesn't mean you can't talk about math you learned recently. Of course you can. But if you have an audience, you need to make sure that what you're saying is correct. And my advice would be if that means uploading once every two weeks, that's a no brainer. But it's something that I've been doing a lot recently, which is when I have something that I would want to make a video about, I spend hours in this cycle of is it valuable? Can it be misinterpreted by some people to lead them to do something which doesn't benefit them? And the big one is, have I thought about making this video because it's value I want to share with people? Or because I just want to make a video because I need to upload this week, right? And you've got to be really careful with spreading math information and advice. But on that point, let's take a look at their site, which is their solution to this problem with math books. So let's say I want to learn algebraic topology. So I can't go to Hatcher, so I go to the PDF on Homotopy, and the first four pages are Hatcher, which looks like what you would get if you asked an LLM to say the same thing but change the words. And then when they deviate from Hatcher, there is an example of how not every Homotopy is a retraction. And they define a homotopy from the punctured disk to the punctured disk that ends up being the function that sends everything outside the punctured disk. So, yeah. 